What up, everybody? Sokar here with uh, another episode. I believe we're on episode 11. Damn, these uh, it, these things comes out fast. I was when I started this, I never actually expected to get all the way to 11. But uh, here we are. Uh, also, uh, I was kind of afraid that we'd be done with everything within a few episodes, and uh, as you probably know by now, that's not the case. But we have definitely gotten far. We have uh, still we still have the wheat farm, the dock, and everything, and now also, of course, the elevator. And actually, I really like... I don't know why, but I really enjoy being in this part. I think it's because it's sort of personalized a little bit. And I have turned off my my volume here. I'll just turn it up real quick. I always leave it at 17. That seems to give uh, to work great with my microphone uh, volume. But uh, anyway, we need to figure out something to do today. And I'm um, uh, I'm thinking we will um, I think it will be starting on the sugarcane farm because, as you all know, probably. Um, um, potions and all that good stuff is coming in uh, 1.9 and we need to be ready for it so we need to make a farm tower where we can get all the ingredients we will ever need besides of course the ones we'll have to get from the nether but don't worry um, a schematic for an um, for a base there is already being prepared now obviously it has to be adaptable but um, you know, just arrangements of different things have definitely been uh, written down, so uh, we uh, will be ready for that. But um, basically, I want the farm top. I'm gonna leave this over here because I might want to actually add another exact one on top of this um, to gain more wheat. Because as it is right now, you get a stack of wheat from every um, harvest. And while that's great, it, it is. It, it is enough. It's not that it's not enough, but um, I, I, I don't know. I just like more, you know. It's More is always better. But the, this over here <coughs> will be our uh, farm tower. And I'm thinking that will go all the way to the top of the map. And what we'll have in there is melons, pumpkins, um, sugar canes and whatnot. Um, but uh, we'll need to start on the sugar cane one. Oh, also, by the way, I finished this up. I didn't show this last time. But basically, oh, boom. I still haven't fixed the drop hole, gotten it down, but with uh, a full amount of health, um, it'll be regenerated immediately. So, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Um, first, I will. Uh, I don't. I'll, I won't build this in a time lapse. I don't think. No, I won't do that. I'll build this uh, by hand, and I'll uh, cut a little bit uh, between it. So I'll just uh, get the first part of it going uh, right now, and then I'll be back with you guys. All right, here we are, guys. Uh, the thing uh, we've done so we've uh, so far planted uh, the basis of our of our farm here. Now. Uh, the way I'll, um, I'll tell this right away is um, the walls of this actual thing will be here, you know. Uh, I won't build anything on this uh, on this uh, layer or whatever you want to call it, you know, this uh, uh, way out here. Because that will be the wall which will uh, separate this so we'll never have to look at it once it's all done. As you can see here, there's the wall and there's the wall and here's the wall. Um, and what we've built so far is um, the water lining um, down here. You know, um, basically what's uh, what it's going to be like is the water will come down here between here, uh, and it will drop the reeds or um, sugar canes down that hole, which will then in turn lead it down through this hole, which will be direct up in the direct uh, position that it is uh, over there with the wheat farm. I don't know, I just like the symmetry and things sometimes. And um, yeah, and then we'll just have one straight line here with the sugar canes. If I need more sugar canes than just this, I, I don't know how many I'll exactly get out of this. I haven't calculated it. I'll figure it out as we go. 
Um, if I need more, I'll just add another layer of it, uh, and that way we will uh, have this. Uh, it will hopefully be uh, a pretty uh, tower just rising up, and it will also have a good, uh, f uh, a nice function to it. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I have uh, finished uh, the Reeds platform. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll be right back again. So here we are, guys. Um, the bottom layer is basically done. Uh, now the idea is we'll have the reeds here. How many will we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll get seven reeds. Oh, which reminds me, I should get a signpost real quick. Um, but we'll have seven on each side, which is uh, 14, and then we'll get. I'm thinking I won't make it all four high. I'm thinking uh, it'll be uh, time saving uh, and material saving, and I'll explain that at some point if I remember. Uh, so only have it go three high. That means we'll get 14 times 2, that's 28 reads every time we uh, push the button. Now, personally, I don't think that's enough. So, uh, but depending on how much space this actually end ends up taking, um, I will make another one on top of that, either in this episode as well, or I will expand it at some other point. Um, but basically what we need to do here now is, and I'm doing this to make my life a little easier, we'll make a wall here, and we will put pistons, oh wait, no, 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 I'm doing it all wrong here, my bad, sorry. See, this is the, this is why I, uh, I actually, I, I prefer building off camera, also now you start seeing another thing I've uh, forgotten. I was just down there and I forgot to get enough cobblestone, I, I forgot to actually get enough building material uh, for what I'm doing. And the thing is, I do this all the time. Um, but when I don't play it on camera, uh, I can hide it. Um, I know that that's a few things that's gone wrong in my uh, time, uh, time uh, lapses. Which annoys me a little bit, because uh, I like how the time lapses are supposed to turn out. I don't know if that makes sense, but they don't really turn out the way I want them to. But if they did, I, I still have the, you know, the imagination uh, saying that, oh, well, but if it turned out like this, it would be absolutely awesome. And I'm sure that uh, some of you uh, might like uh, the time lapses, but the mistakes that I make kind of ruins, ruins the building process a little bit for me. So that's the reason um, I'm going to try to build a little bit off camera and just show you a l bits and pieces of it. Um, but yeah, so here you have it. This is going to be the reads room. Uh, do we have space? Yeah, we do. Uh, now, a very important thing about this is uh, I haven't tested it. So, and oh, that's another thing, uh, sometimes I don't test what I'm building before I actually build it and I end up having to take it all down and do it again and, yeah. I never said I was, uh, was, uh, was the most uh, efficient builder, uh, both when it comes to materials and time. And to be honest, uh, I don't like being efficient with materials. I like building stuff exactly how I want it to be built. Um, and to hell with it if it takes me uh, two or th two times the amount of materials that I actually had to build it in. You know, like I used tons of pistons, I'm sure. Actually, I had a, the, the first idea for this was uh, I would had, have reeds growing and then I would have... Um, I hadn't really figured out how I wanted to do it, but I wanted to make water flow and ruin the top layer of them, but not the bottom one. Uh, if that can actually happen, I haven't tested it either. Um, and use water and just one piston, but, you know, how many pistons do we have here? We have seven times four. See, we have tons of pistons here. I mean, seriously, what is better than a ton of pistons? I mean, nothing. I love, in, in case you don't, you haven't noticed or um, figured it out yet, I really like pistons. It's like, yeah, I don't know, it's it's just my favorite thing in any game these days. If, if I can use pistons on something, I will use pistons on it. 
so anyway, here we have it. And now we need to make the redstone go. And the idea that I have for doing that is basically just... Okay. Uh, first of all, we need... We need the button done first. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll cut this out because I have to do a little uh, uh, tinkering here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, uh, the tinkering are basically uh, done. Now actually, I just remembered that I have done something I probably shouldn't have done. And of course I remember that right as I start recording again. But uh, basically I need to put some water there. Now we need to put water there. And as you can see, there is now water <coughs> in all the places that's necessary. Block this up. We'll go. Oh wait, actually, we'll uh, block this off. There we go. Now, um, as you can see, it's connected. I had to put this repeater here because otherwise the uh, the power wouldn't get all the way to the to the furthest uh, to the piston furthest away. Um, but I'll uh, show you real quick that it works. I'm sure. Damn, hope I don't lose this one. <laughs> oh damn, I don't know where it went. But I see some redstone down there. But anyway, as you can see, it works. Now, some of you may say, "But dude, why didn't you just make one row and just let it grow all four and then push?" Well, there's a reason for that, and that is, I um, I imagine. Again, I probably should have tested this, but I imagine that if you do it that way. Uh, you'll end up having uh, like a lot of these uh, crack. Like say, let's let's say it goes up to four height. That means it'll go actually one above this one. And uh, I'll imagine the one that would grow here with this piston was if they ain't in piston, and the one above here would just break and wouldn't necessarily fall into the water because they're not getting pushed. They would just break um, and fall on top of these, and when they uh, de-extend again they would, um, or when they uh, contract or whatever uh, it's called, again, they would just drop right onto the dirt and lie there and never actually get down there. So the idea in doing this is we will get all of the reeds. We won't let anything go to waste. And also because of the way reeds are, we will never ever ever have to go up here and replant it again. That's sort of a thing that gets me a little bit about the, uh, the weed farm. There isn't any practical way of fully automating it, but uh, for what it is and how it works, I really liked how it turned out. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it works. Uh, and that's the most important thing. Place this again. Boom. Uh, and I saw the redstone there. And let's see. If oh, yeah, there was. Great. Now, um, yeah, that's a lot of water. I'll uh, quickly fix this up uh, with, a, with a sign. And uh, I also gotta start with the uh, I say uh, all the time. I probably shouldn't uh, mention it because if you haven't noticed it, now you will notice it and yeah, that's not good. <laughs> oh damn, sorry, my uh, headset uh, fucks up sometimes. I should get a new one. I don't know if you can hear that sound. You probably can't. It's, uh, it's a really loud noise sound that comes out of the, the speakers in it and it's, uh, yeah, it's not pleasant. Especially when it uh, sneaks up on one without you without you knowing it, just all of a sudden there's this loud noise and then a headset and you just oh what's going on? But yeah oh and we gotta place these back. There we go. And now as you oops oh yeah I heard pistons working. Let's just go check just because uh, I'm a neat freak I gotta know that it definitely is working. And oh yeah, they're all extended. Now, um, with that done, we have the switch ready. And also, the idea in this is that just that one will activate the whole tower. You know, the all of the farms on top of this one will be activated, and they will all drop down that same hole. Um, which is also why I will leave that one, you know, that drop spot over here, I'll leave that one open the whole way through. Uh, so all of uh, the materials that this thing produces will drop right into there and uh, go down. 
I really, I think it's going to be real sweet. But a thing, uh, another thing I'm actually thinking about right now that might actually slow this down from working uh, and actually prevent me from expanding this further today is that I need glowstone. I need there to be a line of glowstone. Um, well, basically, I actually uh, wanted the glowstone to be right here. Or actually, no, I know where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it right in between... No, that won't work either. I'm going to put glowstone in the roof somewhere. Or maybe I'll put the... Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'm going to put the glowstone there. Right, be right, be uh, right behind the reeds there, uh, reeds there, and maybe also in the top. I mean, let's abuse hell out of all the glowstone. But this works. Everything is as it should be. I will quickly build the facade of the tower uh, up, um, and then I will be back with you guys. All right, here we have uh, some of the facade again. Um, I'm a little bit uh, unsure of rather I want um, what was I thinking oh yeah I'm a little unsure and rather I want windows here you know basically I could put windows there and just leave you know well something behind it um, but basically it's because if you go all the way out and see just this big block uh, I don't know if that would uh, ruin the look a little bit or uh, or not so, but yeah, there's basic there's four blocks, which means I could put a window in there. Um, yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't decided about that yet. But uh, yeah, I'm still working uh, on the facade here. Uh, it should be done quite f fast. Uh, I'm a little unsure on rather I should. Oh right, I'm gonna keep sign all the way which means that after this one yeah that was uh, that was a I should have done that I'll uh, I'll put in uh, some smooth stone here and basically what these smooth stones are being for well now they're turning out to be decorative but what they really were was Oh, I gotta look how that's gonna turn out. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna remove it from here. But I'm gonna keep the smooth stone. Yeah. And uh, now I can't get back. <laughs> oh well. Um, but what they were for uh, originally was to divide. <coughs> um, was to divide each level. You know, so uh, I'd have the maintenance level, and then above I'd have a real level again, and so on and so forth. Without the smooth stone, or at that point the cobblestone dividers, I wouldn't have been able to distinguish and uh, find out which one, uh, which level I was at, and so on. So basically, it's dividers. You can see I have it there as well. So I'll have two. Is that two? Yeah, I have two divider levels, but for some reason I've also made a little something there. Maybe I'll. Do oh right, I've turned. I've pushed this in. Oh yeah, I forgot about doing that. Damn. Well, will I do that? Maybe I should remodel that over there. I gotta go check out here real quick. Um, because I'm trying to keep a symmetrical design, even though actually I now have plans and rooms uh, for all of the islands. Basically, once this is all done, the island will almost have completely disappeared because. Uh, there will be rooms going out everywhere, and uh, I also have lots of basements planned. Um, you know what, actually, I think I'm going to keep it that way. Because there's no... yeah, I'm going to keep it that way. There's no reason to tuck it in. Uh, so I'm just going to keep it like that. Uh, and also i got to make the glass panes there. Uh, oh, didn't I make a way... oh yeah, I made a way up. I also started the maintenance way here because every uh, contraption, of course, needs a maintenance area, uh, maintenance access. Because without it, you you can't get up to it again, and that's always needed. At some point, you always need to go back to something, fix it for whatever reason. Uh, so here you can see my maintenance level; it's gone up here. All this will be uh, heighted uh, by a wall. And uh, basically, 
I've uh, built this in here. This is the divider wall. I'll have to pull down the cobblestone and put something. Uh, these knob cobblestone will be my work material, and all it's there for is just that work. I'm thinking, will I need. No, I don't think I'll need this, so I have to cover this up also. You know the way we're gonna do no, if I wanna put a window there it might be really might be a good thing to have. So you know what we're gonna give it like this and then we will put a couple divider in here. So if you fall down you ain't totally screwed. Uh and I should again watch okay if this is the wall then that's gonna be that. And this right here is gonna be smooth stone. And in there it's totally doesn't matter because that's never gonna be seen. And actually Yeah, I don't believe that goes all the way through, so you are still gonna be You're still gonna be my brick stone and actually oh no. That's not Okay, now I'm confused again. So that's over there, that means that should be a brick stone. Oh right. Okay, I'm confused here. I'm gonna have to redo some facade some of the facade at some point because I just can't keep track of what's what. But the this is the middle block. Yeah, that's the middle block. So basically maybe I should uh no, it has to be covered up there, so yeah, I might actually have to remake the doors and make uh, towers here as well. Because basically, and uh, I don't know if you, you'll notice that I've done it twice now, the towers here, the ideas behind them wasn't, again, it wasn't decorative. They were meant with function. I wanted uh, a lot of wires going through this tower. I wanted a lot of control to be had both on the bottom floor and maybe even further down uh, in the basement. And uh, the towers allows me to do that. So, uh, I might actually want to redo some of uh, these tiles, because it is, as it is right now, we're going to be missing one, two, three, four, four towers. Yeah, we're going to be ni missing out on four towers, which is four wires, uh, and that's a lot. So we might do, I might redo that at some point. But uh, for now, we'll just keep it as is. Um... We want this to go all the way up. Mm. And we want it uh, to do the same here. And you know what? Just because mm. I want to be able to distinguish this later, I'm also going to use it there. Uh, and then we have the facade here. And now it went in again, which was exactly what I didn't actually want it to do. So mm. what we will do, though, is we know this is going to be this. And there, now we've built, now we've basically kept the tower here. Uh, actually, I'm going to go out and uh, look how that looks. Um, come on, break. Sometimes I don't get the, the breaking animation, which makes me wonder if it's breaking at all. Also, it's kind of dark now, but I'm using uh, Adobe Premium now. I'm really happy I have a father who has his ass full of money. I don't though, and he doesn't actually give me money. I have to work hard to actually uh, stay alive on my own, which I am. Okay, it's uh, it's kind of an inverted look. I like it. Uh, I'll keep it like this for now. Um, but yeah, as I said, I have a father who uh, basically is uh, some sort of uh, what is he uh, a director of some department where he works. I know in the the U.S. it's people always know what the hell their father is doing but you know in Denmark we, we don't really care what everybody does for a living the only thing we care about what they drink and what sexual orientation they have um, so yeah actually I'll, uh, I'll add in that window that I have I hope this isn't getting too long I have no feel of how far I've, uh, how long I've been recording for now but uh, yeah, but uh, as I said, I was talking about my father. Yeah, my father, he has access to all kinds of uh, software because of where he works. Uh, I'll put the glass panes in immediately. Uh, and that allows me to basically get all kinds of uh, 
designing software and whatnot, and that helps me out a lot because if I had to pay for those, I don't know if you know, but the paying for those things is, uh, well, it's expensive. Those uh, programs cost like, I don't know, right now what I'm making in three months or something. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely not the, it's not to be taken lightly. I'm really happy that he can. Oh, and now I need more glass. No, I'm just gonna do it the same way. See, this is why I build off camera because I, I like make up my mind of doing something and then I go back and say, well, I'll try this thing and then I remember, oh, you didn't take enough materials. And now I'm ranting again, and that's not good. So uh, I'll just finish this damn window up real quick. There. Um, but yeah, back to it. I uh, get all kinds of software. I also work a lot with uh, Maya. Uh, if you know about that program, it's the dis uh, it's basically the same animation program that uh, I know Captain Sparkles use for a lot of his uh, awesome videos. Really, I mean, his newest one, Revenge, uh, is just brilliant, uh, really gr uh, great singing from, I believe it's uh, Ninja something again. I can't remember all the names all the time. Uh, but I think the facade outwards it's com is complete now. I'll uh, have a quick look outside, see how it looks. And then we will plant the reeds and we'll see if it works. Yeah, basically the facade is uh, done. You can't see the reed farm from outside. But again, oh damn! What the hell? Okay, so that's the first time the door actually closed on me. Um, but the, yeah, let's get the reeds. We need 14, and we only have six, so we gotta go grab some more. Go get them from where I got them the first time. You know what? Actually, I know again. Going to that I for uh, going for to that island is probably faster to just run and swim, but. Why not? Now that I made it, why not use it? So here we go. We gotta go to the reeds over there. Come on, go for it. So yeah, but the, I really think we're getting along here. Oh damn, right, I completely forgot. Um, because of all the lighting up and stuff like that, sp mobs have very few places to spawn. So, oh dear. <laughs> This is not going to be as simple as I thought it was going to be. Basically, I think we're going to leave the boat out here. Yeah, leave it here. And, uh... Oh, dear. I guess I'm going in. Oh, I'm never, ever going to make that. Okay, so we're getting a, li a little bit of adventure in this episode as well. And something is already hunting me. I saw it. I saw it! Can't hide from me. Maybe we should just wait for the sun to... No. We're gonna go in here. There. Alright, let's do this. Let's bring the pain. Don't kill me. Don't freaking kill me, please. Damn. Oh! Okay, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Go away. Don't blow up my weeds. I have you. And of course we have one last guy left. Yeah. I'm gonna own you. I am so owning you. I don't have any arrows. I really gotta get that mob system going so we'll get get some uh, what's what are they called? I don't really know anymore. Arrows! Arrows! So we can get some arrows. Uh, now we have enough. Uh, I like to leave this... Oh, that, damn, that's a nice island over there. I haven't noticed that before. And uh, islands... Oh, right, those are the islands I came up uh, behind in the mining episode. See, here you can see the, uh, the castle from afar. I really hate all the, the torches. That's why I'm going to implement... Uh, uh, what are they called? Um, I'm thinking about, actually, and this... I might not do it, so don't... Uh, keep hold me to it, but I'm thinking about making um, making a butt switch, which detects um, you know, when it's day and when it's night, and when it's night it's supposed to turn on and there will be glowstone coming out of the ground everywhere. That will prevent mobs from spawning and that will keep me very happy. 
And also, uh, I get rid of all the torches, because honestly, I hate torches. They're ugly. Um, yeah, they're ugly. There's no more to say to it than that. So, um, also there's some facade that needs to be done there. Oh, damn, he's shooting my boat, isn't he? But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I really like how it's uh, turned out so far. And uh, I'm having a feeling this episode is getting really long. Um, but making a cut here just seems trivial, so we're just going to keep it. Let's get the hell in there. Oh, I just can never get enough of this. But, yeah, there we go. The dock now has a purpose, and we got the reeds that we need. I keep calling them reeds, even though they are actually sucker canes. Up to the maintenance area we go. And we need to make a place for me there. Actually, I think with the water going through here, I probably didn't need to make the hydration area behind it. But, you know, well, now it's there. No, re no, oh, no reason to remove it. Alright, there we go. The reeds are now planted. Uh, I will speed up, uh, well not speed up, but I'll cut to it when they're all grown, and then we will try it out and see if it works. So I'll be right with you again, guys. Alright, guys, I put in the, the extra window up there. I think, it w I think it actually adds a lot to the look, so I'm going to keep it that way. Um, I don't know if the reeds are done yet. I know it said I'd be back, but uh, then I w started waiting and uh, and I decided to just uh, put in the glass or the window while we waited. And there we have, uh, you know, the same kind of drop look. I don't know. I thought it uh, looked nice, so I'm just sticking with it. Anyway, let's go up and see how far it's come. Um, <coughs> okay. Alright, so it's not all grown yet, but we're going to test it as is, uh, because there are enough, and we can calculate exactly how many there should be. Actually, you know, we're going to we're gonna activate it, and then we're going to come up here and see if we get all the reeds. Because if we don't, then I'm going to feel like a total fool, and if we do, then... So much for that. Okay, I definitely didn't hear any pistons go off there. Please tell me there's nothing wrong here. Ah, okay, my bad. I thought I found uh, some redstone here. There we go. I thought I found a piece of redstone here, I just took it, but of course that's to turn on that. Oh no, no! I see one piece. I see there's a piece lying there, but that's not good. Okay, well... Well, we did get these, and that's 18 pieces. Which is alright. So we got 18. But I did see one piece that didn't make it. Yeah, it's over there. So there's one piece that did not make it. Now, I don't know why it didn't make it. It's not supposed to uh, be left hanging there. But the, we can put the top on here so the reeds don't grow too much. But we also need there to be light, so I'm going to leave one row open. So I guess this is uh, the reed farm until we uh, until we get some glowstone. Then uh, we'll revisit and redo this um, and maybe re make some more. How far about we? We're at 18, so we're plenty, plenty of places, uh, plenty of space to to uh, to extend the maybe a reed farm more just one more and then uh, some lemon and pumpkin farms I still haven't uh, found any lemon seeds even though I did do that mine shaft uh, I'm thinking about uh, off camera going back and uh, having a look because it just it just can't be right that there aren't any uh, seeds in there there must be but uh, yeah that's uh, that's it guys for this episode. Uh, we got the the reeds farm done, and uh, we got to use almost uh, as many pistons as we, as we used on the farm. I don't even know how many I used now, but uh, I think we are way above the the hundred mark. But uh, yeah, guys, if uh, if you liked, God damn it, I said liked, didn't I? I meant enjoyed. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, and if you have something to comment on, comment and subscribe. Uh, and yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, before I leave, I'll uh, just inform you that I'm starting my second LP, uh, which is not going to be on Minecraft. It's going to be on another game. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> it seems like I have to. I forgot to put some. Um, uh, some uh, some torches up. I'm gonna have to do that. But as I was saying, I'm starting my second LP, um, and it's gonna be of the Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind, and it's gonna be uh, modded with graphics, so uh, you'll be able to watch it in HD with the really great graphics. It's like I already I already even dare say that it's better than uh, Oblivion. But uh, yeah, check that out if you want to. And if not, just leave it. Uh, it's uh, it's more of a personal thing. I really wanted to to do an LP of that. So uh, yeah, check it out or don't. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next Minecraft episode. So uh, take care, everybody. Where's my moon? There it is.